All right, here's a little kickoff scenario. The Lions are kicking off to the, the Bears. I've got three deep on stationary basis for the Bears right now. I'm going to roll two six-sided dice to see how far the kick travels. Okay. I rolled a five, so that kick is going to travel 55 yards. So it's going to land in the hands of number 26, Matt Suey, there on the 10-yard line. All right. Here is the uh, hang time of that kick. You'll note that not a single player went out of bounds. Love it. Number 26, Suey, makes the catch at the 10-yard uh, line. If he makes it to the 20, we'll let him do his juke move. Okay. He thought he had a shot up the middle, but number 44, Dick LeBeau, is loose. So uh, Suey's going to have to uh, cut to the outside. Here's the defensive bump of the board. Now, all unblocked players have pivoted. I mean, there's the ball carrier right there. Uh, LeBeau does not have a tackle. Here we go. Okay, he's out at the 42-yard line. Nice return. Folks, these bases work fine. And, uh, you know, I've had to move my motor over into the corner to keep everything from falling down because this, this field is so terrible. But um, even with these slow speeds, these, these bases are performing quite nicely. Tell you what, let's let the, the Bears kick the ball off to the Lions one time. Okay, same scenario, just kicking it the other way. I've got three back on the 5, the 10, and the 15. I do like the new NFL rule uh, for kickoffs. Uh, it makes a lot more sense with, with my kickoff method here. Uh, Alright, let's uh, roll the dice for the kick here. I rolled a six, so that's going to be a 60-yard kick. And uh, that kick is going to the five-yard line. That's going to Barry Sanders, who's stationary on the five right now. All right. I think I'll uh, make the hang time a little longer this time. Here we go. All right. And uh, so Sanders has the ball and an excellent blocking scheme. So here come the pivots. All right, Sanders has the ball on the five. He makes it to the 20. We'll let him do his juke move. Yep. Okay. Again, Barry's going to cut to the sideline because Ken Kirk is free there in the right in his lane, number 53. Here's the uh, defensive bump. Okay. Now Kirk is, is set to make a tackle if he can get past number nine here. Uh, an explosive run depends on, it's kind of contingent on uh, Barry deflecting off Number 81 there, and redirecting downfield. Let's see what happens. Mm, I'm pretty sure he got tackled there by uh, number 53, King Kurt. So I'm going to put him down at the uh, 30. Um, we'll look at the instant replay on that. Assuming he wasn't tackled, though, at this point. Yeah, Barry Sanders is gone. So uh, I'll look at that on instant replay to see if he was down by front of base tackle there and if so i uh, really had a tackle at the 30 yard line in other words he uh he took it to the house all right so clearly folks these homemade bases work just just fine and uh now i'm excited i'm going through the rule book again and I'm, yeah i know i wrote it but you know that's a lot of information and that's why i wrote it down so i don't have to remember it i can uh, just reference the book so um i'm just gonna refresh my memory on all the uh, core rules procedures and then I'll do some uh, some friendly gameplay scrimmages between several different teams before I even think about uh, setting up the, uh, the league schedule. Uh, but that's going to be fun. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.